question for you. Where, where do you think the name Boss came from? Because it was the boss? No. It was designed by Larry Shinoda. Welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today we're going to take a look at the Team Transport. And uh, this is the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Retro Rig. Now I don't know if you guys know uh, a lot about these cars. Uh, and you guys know I'm a Chevy guy and I always tease the Ford guys. But the, uh, the Boss 302 is a really, really cool car. Uh, many people don't really know what the car was all about. Now, in 1969, um, they were doing a lot of SCCA racing, and cars like the Z28 Camaro, the AA Arcuda, the Boss 302 Mustang, they all were racing in this class, kind of a road racing class. And the biggest engine you could have was 305 cubic inches. All right? Now, a lot of people think that the, the, the Boss 302 is just... Uh, some stickers and a uh, spoiler and, and, and stuff like that. But no, that engine was totally, totally different. It uh, had more compression. It had heads that were experimental at the time. They were from a, uh, I mean, they were going to be coming out the next year on the, uh, on the 351 uh, Cleveland engine. Now, did you guys know that there was a Boss 351? Aha, I bet you didn't know that. See, and I'm a Chevy guy. But the, uh, the suspension on the Boss 302 was totally different. It was lowered and uh, had much, much better suspension. The spoiler um, on the front and the rear were added for a reason, of course. The, um, the block, the engine, the, the 302 engine block was totally different. It was, uh, um, it had high nickel content in it. It had four bolt mains where the other 302s had two bolt mains. The, um, the heads, like I said, were totally, totally different. They had a, uh, a canted, canted valve design and they were bigger. And like I said, they were experimental for the next year 351 engine. The compression was, uh, I think, 10 and a half to one. The um, cam was a solid lifter cam. It was pretty big. Uh, I think somewhere around 514 lift. That's that's a lot. Um, the there were so many things better with the Boss 302 because it was basically a a race engine on the street. Now um, it was advertised at 290 horsepower, just like the 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 DZ 302 Camaro. All right, but that was at 5400 RPMs. Now, when was the last time you've seen a small block crank out its maximum of RPMs at 5,400, right? Small block scream. 302 goes to 7 grand, 8 grand. Um, so, and that's another thing, all right? To get through the insurance thing at the time, they had to keep the horsepower low so they can insure these things. Because the, the insurance industry really didn't like race cars on the street. Imagine that. So the Boss 302, they set it at 290 horsepower at 5,400 RPMs. Now, that engine actually made somewhere like 375 horsepower at 6,400 RPMs. All right? So that's how they got around all this, all this insurance stuff. So remember that. Just because somebody said it's the Boss 302, it is a whole totally different car. All right, so now this one here, they did it really, really, really well. I love how they did the SCCA wheels on it. Um, I would have liked to seen it on the the Ford C800 hauler. Would have been a lot nicer to see the Ford on a Ford. When you look at the Boss Mustang, it is it looks the, of course the body's the same, but the small things that make it different are what really makes it different. They took the fake air scoops off the quarter panels that were on the regular Mustangs. They added the front spoiler and the rear spoiler. 
they had um, the window shades on the back. Of course, the suspension was lower. It had front disc brakes. They only came in a four speed, as far as I know. Um, and did you know, all right, question for you. Where, where do you think the name Boss came from? Because it was the Boss? No. It was designed by Larry Shinoda, who used to be a Chevy guy, came over from General Motors to Ford. Um, and every time somebody asked him, what are you working on? He said, I'm working on the boss's car. It's a special top secret deal. So um, Larry really, uh, he, he was brought over from Chevrolet by Bunky Knudsen, who was also at Chevrolet. And uh, so he called it, called him the boss and called it the boss. And that's how the boss Mustang got its name. Bet you didn't know that, huh? And I'm a Chevy guy, all right? So like I said, the suspension on the car was totally different. The engine, totally different. Um, and it, it, like I said, the, um, the front spoiler, rear spoiler, this was, I believe, probably the first car that you can get with a spoiler package. Um, and then, of course, you know, there was the, the Camaros and the, and the AAR Cudas. Um, but yeah, uh, the guys at, at, at Hot Wheels did this one really, really well. Uh, I love the hauler, but then again, like I said, I'd like to see it with a, you know, C800, a Ford haul and a Ford. That, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, they did this one really, really, really nice. So there you go. The Team Transport 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Retro Rig. Uh, gave you a little Boss 302 lesson today. As always, thanks for watching Hot Wheels TV. Appreciate it. Please tell your friends. Please be kind to one another. And please... Make sure you subscribe, click that little bell so you know every time that we put out a new, uh, a new episode. So until the next time, we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV. You guys, take care of yourselves. All right? Bye-bye.